progressive musicians and sound as Percival are hosting live auditions for our Laureate Gala at Carnegie Hall this summer. Auditions are open to soloists, composers, small and large ensembles. You can also audition for an opportunity to perform a concerto with the New York Chamber Players Orchestra. Don't miss your opportunity to receive a professional video recording of your performance on this world-renowned stage. to Carnegie Hall and the Wild Recital Hall, and we're doing an interview about your performance tonight, uh, Teresa, uh, which is a solo, uh, a, a concerto you'll be playing on castanets. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about how you developed the skill and, and the virtuosity on these instruments. Well, I, I used to dance in, in the past, so with Spanish dancing, uh, we usually learn how to play castanets. But for dancing, it's a very simple way of playing. But afterwards, I, I met uh, Maestro Jose Dudaeta, who was a, a very good uh, castanet soloist. And um, it was in 25, uh, so almost 20 years ago, I, I am focused professionally uh, in castanets as a solo instrument. And then I developed my own method of teaching this instrument and, and I created an online school and a, a, the International Castanet Festival and a competition of Castanet for the year, so many things about uh, you cre You created the competition? Hmm. And where is that held? Uh, it's, it's going to be um, held this uh, in February. Now we have the semi-finals and uh, uh, we will have the finals in, in February. Mm -hmm. and, where, and where is the competition? Is it online? or? Uh, it was online uh, for the first uh, tires and the, the final will be during the, the ninth uh, international festival in Madrid. In Madrid? Uh, yes, for, uh, in February. Mm -hmm. Also arrange um, pieces for the castanets. Yes. What kind of pieces do you arrange? Well, I, I like to to do all kind of uh, different styles. Uh, also classical music, which is not so uh, typical, you know, for castanets. But uh, I I usually write the, the scores for the arrangements. And uh, both for classical music or Spanish music or popular music for, uh, from all countries, even jazz and flamenco and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I want to talk a bit about the piece you're playing tonight, but first, Rodrigo, you are with the consulate in New York City? Uh, yeah, that's right. And what is your position there? Um, well, we do as much as we can to promote uh, Spanish culture in New York, um, all of the genres, all of the arts. Um, and in this case, music and live music. Yeah. Have you ever worked with a castanet soloist before? Uh, no, this is <laughs> my first time. I think it's very unique. Um, it's definitely, um, as you were saying, a rare solo instrument. Right. 
Did you were you here last night? Did you see any of the rehearsal? Um, I wasn't lucky enough to be here last night, um, but I will today. Right. So tell us a bit about the piece you're playing tonight. Yes, I'm, I'm going to play the Hungarian dances number four and five by uh, Brahms. Ah, uh, Brahms. Okay. Yes. Um, well, these are um, two pieces I like very much. Um, they are full of contrast, so it gives me the opportunity to express a lot of emotions, different emotions, and I think uh, it would be nice. Describing um, the Brahms Hungarian dances, which are written for piano originally or, or for orchestra? Uh, the, the, the original composition. I, I, I used to to be based on the original scores. For orchestra. For orchestra, yeah. yeah. And so when you write the castanet part, mm. um, is it your own rhythms that you're adding to it or? Yes. Yes. I, I add some arrangement and I do a, a different line of melody. Sometimes following the the principal melody and sometimes accompanying the the back instrument. Or well, I play with the with the rhythms and also with the colors of sound because uh, castanet it seems to be a very simple instrument, but uh, you can, with uh, only, in, in, for example, uh, what we call a toki, toki, uh, un toki, uh, well, um, oh. well, um, a, a simple note, imagine, uh, it can sound in a very different kinds of Sounds, mm -hmm, <laughs> colors mm -hmm. of sound. No? It depends on the position you 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 play, or the distance of hands from the body. Mm -hmm. So it changes the the quality of sound. Mm -hmm. So we we play with um, rhythms and also with that uh, mm -hmm. to to enlarge the the richness. Right. And do you write uh, the, your part out? Yes. So you're, you're, it's written out, and you're, mm. you're playing from a written out. You've memorized it, because I noticed you weren't looking at any music, but it's something that's written out and composed. Yes, we, we, we write the scores as, uh, with a normal solfege, uh, solfeo, solfege, uh, solfa, solfa. No, it, with a, it's written uh, mm -hmm. with a normal notes. Right, uh, notation. But uh, notation, yes. But uh, it is only in a bigramma instead of a pentagramma. It's only bigramma because we write the in the first line the um, the um, the things for the right hand and in the low line oh. for the left. In the middle, we write the silence and the post posticeos, which are the um, the, the crossing of customs when they really so it's th three lines the, the left no, hand a, the, the, the left. line one line another line and in the middle right. in the space empty space we write the silence and the crossing of customs and the bottom line is left hand top line is yes. right hand mm. oh, very exciting very interesting yeah mm -hmm. uh, what other pieces uh, do you perform besides the Brahms I'm sure many Thank you. 
I have uh, pieces of Vivaldi, uh, Mozart, Beethoven, oh. Haydn, Boccherini, uh, well, many. Uh, and then uh, typical uh, classical Spanish like uh, uh, Albéniz. Um, well, I have uh, also some of uh, Carmen from the opera. Uh, all the, well, almost all the zarzuelas. Uh, hi, Teresa. How are you? Where are you? Hi. Uh, hi. I am here in New York. I am in New York? Yes. You are in a hotel? Yeah. In what a hotel. hotel are you? In the Carnegie Hotel. I am just in front of the Carnegie oh, Hall. That's good. <laughs> I just what have is, to cross the, the, the road. <laughs> the only thing I want to talk about is, uh, I mean, the beginning is like, Poppy, yeah, Poppy, the same. I was, the only concern I had is about the, the fifth one. Yeah. There is a poco ritenuto here. Yes, I think I, I do poco ritenuto because then it, there is a contrast like, So instead of doing that, and then and then, so uh, I got it. So that mm. part of the poco ritenuto can be a little fast, like pam 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 pam, and then pa pa pa. So can you do the the same poco ritenuto a little okay. faster, a little okay. faster? Yes, yes. It's Let's try. Yeah, go. Ta ta. Yeah, it's like pam. I, I can clap it for you. Pam pam. Yeah, prepare that. Well, uh, yes. Uh, uh, and then it goes back to tempo. Uh, the tempo is the same. It, it doesn't matter for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Is there any repertoire for solo, unaccompanied uh, castanets? Just, just one performer, no instruments. Well, I sometimes I do um, solos. A solo. In, but not all the concert, of course, because it, it's <laughs> going to be very boring. But uh, sometimes in a concert, just a little mm -hmm. piece uh, or... Um, uh, yes, uh, right. sometimes I have done that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm very eager to see the performance. I just saw a little bit of it last night on tape and it was a rehearsal, so this will be very different. And Rodrigo, I'll look forward to seeing you at the concert. And likewise, yeah. very keen as well. It starts soon. It's at 8. So, yes, okay. so we have to get ready. But thank you very much for coming by. It's a pleasure to meet you, and I'm very eager to hear the piece. Thank you very much. <laughs> which are made of wood of granadillo and um, there is a um, different sound from one hand and the other the right has got a higher sound and the, the left is a, a, a lower tone okay and this is the typical um, toque uh, we call it toque when we the touch uh, so uh, this is carretilla okay okay and we can do a lot of things only with these two pieces of wood and I would like also to show you um, that we also write scores for castanets in a bagrama two lines one for the for the right hand and another for the left. In the middle, we write the silence and the posticeos, the crushing. Okay, I am going to perform um, uh, the Hungarian dances number four and five. And so, well, I hope you like it very much. Thank you.
let's look at this right after this. Uh, this uh, Progressive musicians and Sound Espresivo are hosting live auditions for our Laureate Gala at Carnegie Hall this summer. Auditions are open to soloists, composers, small and large ensembles. You can also audition for an opportunity to perform a concerto with the New York Chamber Players Orchestra. Don't miss your opportunity to receive a professional video recording of your performance on this world-renowned stage. 